What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. I hope you're still fine and yeah, could enjoy the situation a bit uh, by relaxing, spending time with your family and improving your LumaFusion skills, of course. I'm going to show you today how to create this awesome disco intro you've seen before. I think it's a really cool effect and it's easy to do. Um, and you can change it to the shapes you want to have um, by just being creative yourself. As you've seen in the title, you can download the mask and the sound effect I'm going to use in this video for free. But therefore you will need a password which is hidden somewhere in the whole tutorial. So you have to watch the tutorial in full length to find the password, but you have to do it anyway to understand how the mask works and how to use the sound effect. Well, I see at the moment I definitely have to go to the barber, but unfortunately they are closed till 4th of May in Germany. Horrible. But anyway, let's continue with LumaFusion. Um, so we are jumping right into LumaFusion right now, but before, give this video a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell if you haven't already. And of course, the mask and the sound effect will be added to my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle, which link is up there. Uh, go and check it out. It, it contains a lot of transitions, sound effects, effects, masks, title effects, all you need for your LumaFusion project. And now we're jumping right into LumaFusion. Let's start by creating a new project. Let's call it Disco Intro, so the obvious title. Important is to change the frame rate to 60 frames because we want as much frames as possible. First, add a main title and delete the text in there. Change the length to about 10 seconds. If you want to be precise, which I would recommend, take exactly 10 seconds. Now duplicate it and drag it above each other. Then double tap to edit and add a shape. Change the shape to a triangle and now resize it until it's a same sided triangle. Now make sure it's exactly in the middle by yeah, changing center X and center Y to 50. And finally change the color to green. Now duplicate the layer with the green triangle and drag it above the first one. Double tap to edit and change the rotation to 180 degrees. Now change the color to pink. Go back to your main editing surface, duplicate this layer 2 and drag it above the second one. Now double tap the third layer, change the color to blue, go to frame and fit and change position X to until it's get a nice little gap and remember the amount you moved left because you have to move the other triangle in the other direction with the same amount. So it's exactly the same gap between the triangles. Now we can start by cutting off the flicker effect. Therefore, we start with a half a second or 30 frames cut through all the layers. And then we are doing four one second long cuts through all layers. You can just follow my example. And after we've done the four one second long cuts, we are starting with half a second, so 30 frames. And we are doing five of them. So we are getting shorter and faster with the flickering. You can follow my example. So make sure to be as precise as possible by cutting exact at 30 frames. And after we've done this, we are going even faster by cutting with 15 frames long cuts. I think four of them should be all right. And that's it with the cuts. 
and what we are doing now is we are deleting randomly clips out of this uh, yeah, grid, I would say. So we are getting the flicker effect. Again, you could uh, follow my example or just delete randomly clips out of this grid, uh, but you will be safe by following the example. I'm going to speed it up. Oh no, I just leave it at that speed because then you can be sure to delete the same clips as I do. I will just do it that way and then at the end delete some extra clips uh, afterwards. So it gets the randomness in there. But that way I make sure it's almost the same amount of every color. Looks really pretty good right now. And at the end, we are deleting the top two layers. And yeah, increasing the size of the triangle so it full, uh, fills the whole frame. So we are starting into the movie or the yeah travel video with the with the clip we want to start with. What we could do now is just simply deleting random clips out of there to add the randomness I told you about before. Just make sure not to delete too much clips because we want to yeah, see something. <laughs> Once you're done, all you have to do is to save it as a movie into your Photos app with, of course, 4K resolution, 60 frames and ultra quality. This is it with the first part. As you see, it's not very difficult. It's fast and easy to do. And the second part will be to add clips to this mask and I'm showing you how to use it in a real project. Therefore, we are creating a new project with the frame rate we want to use. In this case, I'm using a 30 FPS timeline. And the first thing to do is, of course, add our mask and then add our first clip. And this has to be the clip you want to see at the end, so the green one. Drag the mask above the clip. Looks already pretty good so far. I like the mask. I'm going to speed it a little bit up. I'm doing twice the speed. So it's faster and will suit best better to the music I'm going to add later. And now I'm going to shorten the clip beneath a little bit because I think six seconds are long enough. Okay, now double tap the mask, go to effects, go to the lock symbol and add the green screen here. Now it's important to go to a point where you are seeing all three triangles because this will help you to find the perfect settings without any color changes you don't want and without clean edges. Just play around with the settings. Um, in a later example, you will see uh, why this is so important. Now save this with 100 Mbits quality, 30 FPS and 4K of course. Once it's saved, just delete the timeline and add the second clip you want to add to the mask. Roughly cut the size you want to have it. I would say six seconds about, but I'm 
sure we have to shorten it a little bit more drag the mask with the first added clip above now resize the clip beneath and again go to the spot where you are seeing all three triangles and add the blue screen mask now you have to be very careful with the use settings because as you see in the first clip are some blue spots so you have to play around with the settings a bit play with saturation and you leave brightness at, right at the point where it was and as you can see it works like that even with blue in the first clip and now what you can do with the second and third clip is to change the size of the clips a bit if we are changing the size it's nicer because we see more of the scenery uh, in the small triangle than before and we are not making a transition into this clip so uh, it doesn't matter if it's small looks pretty good and again as before save it with 4k quality and extreme settings and then we are repeating this step with the third clip therefore again delete the timeline you can add the saved mask with the two clips and then add the third clip I would recommend to to if to, to uh, use clips with different colors so I'm adding a more warmer clip so we are getting a nice color contrast as well again change the length find your point where you are seeing all three triangles and add a Kia and change the Kia color to pink and now same as before find your perfect settings it will work definitely as you can see in my example and resize the clip beneath so we are seeing a bit more of the scenery maybe like this it looks already pretty cool i really like it it's simple but effective now as before save it with a high quality settings and delete the timeline add the clip with all three clips added have a quick look looks pretty cool and what we could do now is to add at first another clip and to make it even nicer we are adding a transition um, you can use one of the transitions I've created in my previous tutorials or you can use my ultimate bundle uh, link is up there in the info box go and check it out um, it contains a lot of transitions and effects sound effects all you will need so maybe we are using the swipe right at there at swipe right first to the first clip and s swipe left second to the second clip and this is how it will look like but that's not it yet to support the effect of the disco intro we are adding music in this case we are adding a clock sound which ticks faster with time this sounds pretty cool and now we have to find the point where the actual music starts I had to cut out the music unfortunately because it's copyrighted but I'm going to add the clock ticking down below you can download it for free and I will also add the mask for free um, there's one password somewhere here in the video you will see it if you watch the whole video and then you can unzip the package and now make sure to be very precise where 
the clock ticking ends and where your music will start. Now let's add a clip which isn't copyrighted. So like this one and let it start immediately after the clock ticking ends and let's listen to it. I know it's not perfect, but uh, it's enough for the example. Now you could just simply continue your project. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. I think it's pretty useful and you can adapt it to the way you want to use it. And if you like this video, give this video a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to activate the bell so you won't miss any video in future. Till then, bye.